research down to earth. Stop the paralysis, objective analysis, test tubes, so the last few days it's been pretty much cold and overcast. Um, yesterday we had a heavy mist along the coast. It's kind of an odd mist. Um, the the coldness is a dry coldness. It's not a wet coldness. It's not a damp coldness. It's a very dry coldness. And you can see we have pretty much, pretty much looks like from the sun, the clouds over the sun, it looks like there are lines to these clouds. And that means to me artificial cloud cover, <clears throat> toxic artificial cloud cover. And so let's talk about the cold for a minute here. So the cold, this is a cold, cold compress uh, pack. Basically it contains chemicals in it that produce instant coldness. And this is some, are these, the chemicals used in here are some of the chemicals used in the weather ma manipulation program. It's called chemical ice nucleation. Chemical ice nucleation. And so these are some of the chemicals that are in this cold compress pack that you can buy at almost any drugstore. These are some of the chemicals they are using to manipulate the weather. And so no doubt these chemicals are toxic And for me personally, the last three years, uh, I've, I've, my whatever air capacity, breathing capacity has diminished substantially. And so let's talk about t child endangerment and torture. You heard about those people down in San Diego that were supposedly torturing their children and um, were charged with whatever 33 years in prison or something like that for torturing their children, ch uh, violating child endangerment laws. Now these are pretty much the same thing that the geoengineers are doing manipulating our weather, forcing us to breathe the coal ash, barium, strontium, sulfur, all kinds of other things, testing biological weapons. And so why don't we hear about this in the news? I heard it twice on the news yesterday about some parents torturing their children. And yet, we hear nothing about the geoengineering spraying program spraying toxic dust in our air. We have related respiratory disease now the leading cause of death. And we don't hear about the dust being sprayed in our air because it's about covert control. It's about controlling you, your thoughts, and your environment without you suspecting any control over it. It's about selling you the drug to hide the symptoms from what they're doing, from what they're spraying on you, from what the radio frequencies are manipulating in your thoughts. The sprayed materials may contain materials, devices that when inhaled 
manipulate your cells, your DNA. And so here we have the sun. The sun just came out after like three days of overcast. The sun is almost impossible to look near. I cannot, I can't even look in that direction without eye strain, okay? So the sun, the ozone layer is probably really thin because of the geoengineering and uh, the whatever, greenhouse gases, excess ozone. So we've got just a blaring sun right now. This is uh, Northern California and near the Oregon border, we've got just a blazing sun at this point. So it's, like I said, it's, it's just hard for me to look in that direction. And we still have, this, this is all geoengineered and you can see there's sort of a haze in the air. So any moisture is basically burning off any moisture that's fallen from these particulates is burning off at this point. So this is, yeah, this is a clearing after about three days of full overcast. And the sun, that we see there's, there are uh, more geoengineered line, liney clouds off the coast, but we have pretty much clear skies overhead. A little bit of scalar action there. So we, these clouds are moving, they are moving east. They are moving east probably a good 10 miles an hour or so. But we have no wind in the trees. You can see the clouds are moving about 10 miles an hour it seems. This is typical of a electromagnetic manipulation. We see no wind in the air, yet the clouds are moving. And so that's your geoengineering report for today.